There are several different ways you can hide files and folders on a Mac. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate three of them, starting with the easiest, and then I'll show you my favorite way by using one of the greatest free apps ever made for Mac. And then finally, for the super geeks, I'll show you how you can do it using Terminal. So let's get started. By far, the easiest way to hide a file or folder is to move it to the library folder. The library folder lives under your users folder, along with documents, pictures, and downloads. The only difference is that you can't see your library folder because it is hidden by Mac OS. There's nothing very interesting in the folder. It mainly contains files relating to applications installed on your Mac, but they are important files nonetheless, so try not to delete them. However, since the library is already hidden, it makes it a very convenient place to hide your own files and folders. You can view the library folder or any other hidden folder in Finder by simultaneously pressing the Command, Shift and Full Stop or period keys on your keyboard like so. It's a toggle switch, so pressing the keys again will hide the folders. Alternatively, you can click on Go in the menu and just hold down the Alt key and the library option should appear. Having opened the library, it's then just a matter of dragging your files and folders into it. If you have several individual files, I recommend putting them into a single folder as it will be easier to manage and reduces the risk of inadvertently deleting the wrong thing from your library. Remember to press Command, Shift and Period again to hide the library folder. And of course, if you ever move your folder back out of the library, it will permanently unhide it. If you'd rather not have to move things to the library, then my preferred method for hiding anything, whether it be files, folders, drives, and even applications, is to use a fantastic little free app called Onyx from Titanium Software. Onyx has been around for donkey's years and is like a Swiss army knife for doing administrative and maintenance type tasks on your Mac. Having downloaded and installed it, you'll need to provide your password because some of the features do require admin access. But then you'll be able to do things like verify there are no file errors on your system and recover storage space by deleting unnecessary temp and cache files. Under parameters, you can turn on or off or adjust system preferences. So for example, you can automatically enable the expanded dialog box when saving a file, removing the need to expand it manually, which has always been a bit of a bugbear of mine. You can change how many items are displayed in the Recents list for each application, and there are lots more options you can mess around with on other tabs. However, for this demonstration, we're going to click on Files. You'll notice that I've plugged in a USB stick called Secret Stuff, which I can now hide simply by selecting it from the list and choosing Hide. It doesn't have to be a USB stick, it could just as easily be an SD card or a second partition on the main drive. If you don't see your drive in this list, it's probably because you connected it after opening Onyx. So simply closing and reopening Onyx should solve that problem. It's exactly the same process for hiding files and folders. Click on Hide Folder, select the folder you wish to hide and click Choose. Note that you receive this warning message when hiding and unhiding, just to let you know that you should wait if you're in the middle of moving, copying or processing a file. As mentioned, you can also hide applications using this tool. For example, if I hide Brave Browser, when I next open up a Finder window and view my applications, you can see that it's disappeared from the list. Just note with applications, however, if you have a shortcut to applications in the menu, the hidden app will still display here until you remove and re-add that shortcut. Having re-added the shortcut, you can now see that Brave Browser no longer appears. As before, to unhide, simply click Show Application and choose the application from the list. Onyx really is an excellent little tool, jam-packed with lots of different features, so I highly recommend giving it a go. The third and final method for hiding and unhiding folders, if you want to get really geeky about it, is to use Terminal and the CH Flags command. Open Terminal and type CH Flags followed by a space, and then type the word hidden followed by another space. Drop the file or folder you wish to hide over the terminal and you'll notice the location of the folder is appended to the text. Hit enter and there you see that my folder has disappeared. To bring it back, replace the word hidden with no hidden. So I'll simply just add the word no to the existing text and there we have it, my folder is restored. So that is pretty much how to hide anything on Mac. If you want a super quick way of converting your images using Finder, you might be interested in this. Or if you have an iPhone, find out how you can watch YouTube videos ad-free without a subscription. Visit my website for lots more information on all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more tips and tricks. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.